Dear students, welcome to Bluepen Online. Shall we begin? Please use headset, pen and paper to take notes. Here you go. Please let's know your feedback after class. Next we'll move to the pancreas. Okay, that is very important. Pancreas as you know, pan means all, creas means flesh. So it is a gland. So it is is halfly exocrine and halfly endocrine so both parts are the exocrine and the endocrine part so exocrine part will secrete the uh, digestive pancreatic juice and endocrine part will secrete the hormone like uh, insulin it is soft lobulated elongated organ so see the picture where is the pancreas here it is situated in the head of the uh, duodenum so it lies more or less transversely across the posterior abdominal wall so vertebra level if you are telling lumbar vertebra first and second lumbar vertebra okay yes ma'am then the pancreas pancreas is divided uh, into four parts head neck body and tail so the head is the enlarged one within the, which lies within the concavity of the duodenum and the tail which reaches the hilum of the spleen i'll show you the picture the entire organ which is posterior to the stomach and which is separated by the lesser see these are the parts head neck body tail so this tail will be uh, here spleen will be there so head of the tail sorry the tail portion will be attached with the uh, spleen okay okay see here these are the four parts then from the head uh, one process which is hanging down this is the uncinate process okay so head is the enlarged portion of the pancreas which is situated in the curve of the duodenum and uh, the head has three borders superior border inferior border and right lateral see i'll go back and i'll show you see superior border inferior border and the right lateral border clear yes yes and two surfaces that is anterior and posterior and it has one process that is uncinate process okay that's what you saw in the picture no yes ma'am see this is the head portion then two surfaces anterior surface and posterior surface anterior surface related to gastro duodenal artery transverse colon jejuna and all okay and um, posterior surface related to inferior vena cava uh, terminal parts of renal vein right crest of the diaphragm and bile duct okay Okay. and uncinate process uncinate process means what nirisha which is a uh, posterior part of the pancreas no from the head one hook like extension is the that is known as the uncinate process okay so see uh, one second not in this picture see this is the uncinate process no from the head portion one hanging structure that is the uncinate process okay Okay. That next is the neck. After head, small constricted part of the pancreas is there between the head and body. That is known as the neck of the pancreas. Okay. So neck of the pancreas about uh, about the neck nothing. It uh, directed upwards and to the left. And the neck also having two surface anterior and posterior. So after neck you can see the body. Body it's elongated. It extends from neck to the tail. and uh, it passes towards the left and it has three border and three surfaces so what are the three border anterior border first it provides attachment to the transverse mesocolon and superior border which is related to your celiac trunk okay and um, three surfaces anterior surface posterior surface okay so this is the relations with the kidney okay and uh, see first relation that uh, sorry next is inferior surface inferior surface which is covered by peritoneum and duodeno jejunal flexure coils of jejunum left colic flexure and see this is the tail of the pancreas which is uh, which is touching the hilum of the spleen okay so the tail is a narrow left end of the pancreas which lies in the leno a uh, renal ligament together with the splenic vessels it comes to contact with the lower part of the gastric surface of the uh, spleen then i told you pancreas is a uh, both organ exocrine and endocrine so exocrine pancreas drained by two ducts uh, that is main pancreatic duct 
or we call duct of Wilson and accessory pancreatic duct that is duct of Santorini. So first is the duct of Wilson. So where it lies? It lies back of the pancreas. Okay, so the color is white and uh, within the head of the pancreas, this is related to bile duct, which is on the right side. 